I would like to turn the program over to my classmate, Kwame Fokua. He attends the middle school with me. Take it away! Hi. So, every, uh, almost every Thursday night, I get to play futsal with Van. I think the reason Van and I get along so well is because we are both amazing soccer players. But on a serious note, Van is my mentor, my friend, and my coach. He always is teaching me something and making me a better soccer player, and probably a better person. He encourages me and never lets me give up. I always know that he is going to make sure that I am working hard in school and that school is my number one priority. Van is someone I can count on. I know that I am important to him. Please welcome Van Hong, my mentor. Excuse me. I'm an immigrant. 98 was the year that I got here from Cambodia. In fact, it was the month of March. And I'm still walking. <laughs> Not to the rhythm of others, but to the strength of my own two legs. I'm still chasing. Not to catch anyone, but I know my dreams are out there somewhere. See, we came here with nothing but the dreams of my parents that one day, maybe one day, their four kids will be college educated. I'm an immigrant and a product of the St. Louis Park Schools and this loving community. When we first arrived, all we had was us, two sisters, one brother, a mom and dad. Now, there's only five of us. Picture me as a child. I was that kid on reduced meals at school. I was that kid that spent half his day in Ms. Giordano's ESL class. I was that kid that spent most of his time in, in bonus reading. Also, I was that kid that fell in love with soccer because although I was small, I always felt like a giant every time I stepped on the field. I was that kid that, always <clears throat> that also cried down the hallway at Cedar Manor when Ms. Weigel wouldn't allow me to take the MCA test. I was that kid that was supposed to fail. I was that kid that had less than 15% chance of graduating from a four-year university. I know I said I many times today, but I know I didn't get here alone. School and soccer were my sanctuaries. At home, my parents did everything they could to ensure I had the best opportunity to succeed. At school, the teachers, the administrators, even the custodians, like my guy Jack from the high school, always want me to do well and succeed. And this is why having adult role models in the community is so important. <clears throat> At school, I always felt like I had the best resources. On the soccer field, I had people like Bob Decker, Chato, Tim Gibbons, that treated me like a son. They instilled confidence and trusted me to be a leader on their team. My parents provided love and taught me to work hard as hell and to be resilient. But other adults in this room, in this community, really showed me how to give back. We were poor. My parents worked three, sometimes four jobs, so others helped out. Bob Decker, pretty much became my second dad. He drove me everywhere to all the games, bought food, provided shelter when we go to places like Rochester, Minnesota for a long weekend tournament. And when I got to be about 16 years old, I joined an elite select team and the, the travel got a little bit farther. So the guy by the name of Tim Gibbons picked up where Bob left off. So in his, with his two sons, Abe and Aaron, my two really, really good friends, we'd hop into this big old van and travel across the country to Iowa, Missouri, Indiana, New York, just to name a few places. All expenses were covered. After high school, I was lucky enough to earn a Division I scholarship to play at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. You know, my proudest moment was in getting starts as a freshman, but it was obtaining a 4.0 GPA after year one. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm an immigrant and a product of St. Louis Park Schools and this loving community. Now, I work at Deloitte & Touche, one of the biggest accounting firms in the world, and started a nonprofit with my friends who I grew up with in St. Louis Park called Spam FC Scholarship Foundation to help other kids pay for college. I definitely put in my hours, but I credit you, the adults in this room, the adults in the community, for providing such a powerful yet flexible safety net for an unguided kid like me. Before I'm done, I just want to share a quick story. About four years ago, my friend Tony and I coached a soccer team in St. Louis Park. And on an average Tuesday night, we had to drop this kid off in Brooklyn Center. And on our ride back, we were just reminiscing on how, how Bob Decker used to drive us everywhere. And somewhere during our conversation, I turned to Tony and I said to him, holy <laughs> will Bob Decker 2.0? <laughs> to close, I want to challenge you to stand on the edge of your, of your comfort zone. And imagine if you had to pick up and give up everything to move and go to live in a different country and start over with nothing. No language skills, no money. Everything is new and different. It's pretty damn scary. So keep in mind, there are people around us today that have to face that reality. So please, welcome your new neighbors as you have my family and me. <clears throat> and lastly, I just want to be clear. I'm not a diamond in the rough, I'm not special, and I'm not rare. There are so many kids in our community today, immigrant and not, that deserve your continuous love, that deserve your continuous support, and deserve to feel safe. Man, I love this city. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your time. So welcome.